Hello everybody, this is Muzaffar. Today let's look at installing Kamunda on your computer. There is just one prerequisite for installing Kamunda that is Docker for desktop. We can just install it from here and make sure it is running from here. Let's start by writing Kamunda in google.com. You will find Kamunda.com is first link here. Then go to resources. Then in Kamunda platform 7 section press download button. Here you will find three Kamunda editions like community, enterprise and enterprise for customers. Today we are going to install community edition which includes BPMN, DMN, task list and cockpit. If you scroll down further, you will see installation steps. Keep going, you will see other distributions. There are three distributions. Uh, first is with Tomcat and Docker and Spring Boot project. What we are going to uh, use today is Docker installation. So let's click on it. Then you see docker installation commands are given here we just have to pull the docker image then run the container make sure you have docker running there are multiple ways to verify whether docker is running first is on top of the screen you will see docker icon in menu bar click on it and you see docker desktop is running Another way is from terminal, if you just do docker ps, you will see we didn't receive any error here and it seems docker is running. Another way is you can do docker version and we can see versions which mean docker is running. So let's go back, copy this command, to pull docker image from docker hub. We'll go back to terminal and then paste this command hit enter now it is pulling docker image from docker hub nice it is done pulling the image from docker hub now let's verify the image using docker images command we can see we have docker uh, image for kamunda here another way to verify this is from docker dashboard in images tab you see we have this newly pulled image from docker hub we can close this now and head back to the kamunda installation page and we can just copy this command here and head back to terminal to start the container you can paste the command here and press enter if you see an error like this you can fix this by pasting the command again and just removing the name part then press enter Kamunda now seems to be up. Let's verify the container using docker ps command. We can see this container is already in up status and it is currently listing on this port 8080 on localhost. Let's go back to the browser and open a new tab and localhost 8080 we can see the login page let's login to kamunda using demo demo credentials so username is demo and password is also demo hit enter press save close we can see 
Kamunda dashboard. Kamunda community edition comes with some sample data. We can verify it from cockpit. Running instances. We can see we have two VPA main models here. We can go inside any VPMN, verify. We can also verify task list. User management. And DMN models. Deployments. To stop Kamunda, we can go back to terminal and to Docker PS. We can see Kamunda Docker container is running here with this ID. We can copy this ID and we can do Docker rm to remove this container before we do rm we have to do docker stop then container id then we can do docker rm and container id to remove the container so now if we do docker ps we won't see any container for kamunda if we go back to the browser and Refresh, we won't see Kamunda running. We can run it back again by going to Kamunda. Resources. Download. Then under community edition, Docker distribution, we can copy this command again. Then paste it here. And removing this name flag press enter now if we do docker ps kamunda container must be up now if you go back again copying this url from here pasting it in browser we can see kamunda running again clicking on the cockpit will display kamunda cockpit and we have to log in again demo demo credentials so that's about it for installing kamunda on your computer with docker be sure to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in next video